Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Finally, a tool has arrived on Figma that can convert any of your current designs into these cool animated effects and actual practical usage. You can go from a static to a beautiful animated graphic design, logo design, creating a unique product video, whatever you're looking at, this can instantly do it with the power of AI. Without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Okay, I've landed up here inside Figma, as you can see, and I've opened a UI kit. It's called Apple Widgets UI kit. I will give the UI kit in the descriptions so you can test this plugin using this UI kit. This as you can see has a lot of examples of different widgets from Apple but I want to try it out on this one right now to run this plugin you can run it on a frame run it on a single asset like say a title or an icon or a logo or something but for this case we're just going to pick up this as a whole as you can see on the left and from the bottom, as you can see, I'm going to quickly click on this little magic icon, which is the actions icon. And as you can see, magic animator pops up. Of course, you can search for it. Just say magic animator and it will come up from here as well. Now click on this and it opens up this little pop up. As you can see, if I select something, it instantly recognizes this design. Not only that, it also showcases what layers are there as a part of this design and what text layers are unsupported, stuff like that. It gives you little warnings if something is broken or if something will break in this design. There's a button at the bottom which says generate animations and we're gonna click on just this. Connecting to server is essentially is taking your designs into Lottie Lab, which is the original, which is helping you do this. And once that is done, as you can see, this really cool animation pops up processing design and quickly it generates four variations for different variations of your design right here it takes a few seconds to load up and as you can see some of these designs look really cool something that you might have designed in after effects or you have might have done with smart animate it would have taken 15 minutes here it takes like a minute minute and a half at max now the first one is the most interesting However, the timing is a little off. It's a little slow. It comes off. It comes off like a lazy animation. What if I want to speed this up or edit this further? The first one is what I really like here. If I click on this, I can then open it up like this. I can either download this if I'm completely satisfied with this. I'll just quickly download it. In you, you have MP4, you have WebM, GIF, Lottie, JSON, all the good formats that you require for a UI design or graphic design. And you have insert into Figma, which just inserts this animation into Figma as a video or as a GIF in this case. But if we go back, we can actually go and say open slash edit animation. Now this is where it gets truly interesting because here inside Firefox and then quickly I can just pop in and editing stuff here. The animations are happening here in these keyframe like panel at the bottom which you can quickly edit you can edit the duration the values in this case I want this to be faster so about four seconds at max and if I play this now as you can see things just pop up real fast which is much better than restarting or re-editing this now what if I wanted to edit this animation right here inside Lottie Lab I just need to open my layers from the left and it brings in all the layers as it was in Figma along with the naming scheme and everything and under each element i get different feature different things that i can change rotation opacity and much more i can then edit these animations one by one as you can see these are keyframe animations but every point of time it could be five seconds ten seconds at certain points of time it will play a certain animation as you can see between one and two seconds it brings it in rotates it once and then again rotate one more time until it reaches 2.11 seconds which is the final rotation you can edit these this rotation by moving around these keyframes as you can see to make the animations move quicker or for some things to happen quicker but now here rotate on the left quicker and then move to the right slightly slower so you're basically editing this animation at the final stage you can even change things like drop shadow blurs etc effects that you might have added inside figma are now here as well again i'm super impressed because a lot of cool animations that you can do inside lottie lab but it prepares everything inside figma 
So you have the option to kind of do it inside Figma only, or you can come here and edit the animation. I would love for a fully fledged plugin inside Figma where you can do all these without coming to their website, but I get why they're bringing their users to the website. It's good business. Of course, you also have ad animations, so you can add preset animations like sweep, hide, flicker, even things, little things like that. Twist, as you can see, things are happening on screen as we speak. Now, these are all pre-made animations with custom keyframes if you require. Once you're ready, you can quickly click on export and you can either embed a link, iframes. So basically embedding these animations into your current website or app is going to be super smooth with these links. You even have things like JSON URL and Lottie file, of course. You want a Lottie file for quick animations, lightweight animations for UI designs, uh, websites, etc. This can be quickly implemented in your favorite web builder or even like an app design. As you can see, you can optimize also at one, less than at around 1 MB instead of almost the 2 MBs, right? And if you want, you can always apply for their pro plan, which offers a lot more if you're into animation tools, if you want to use this in your actual design practice then i'll have a link in the description as well again this isn't sponsored i enjoyed this tool and i wanted to showcase this with you guys and if you want me to showcase more such tools and design tips and tricks every single week shorts whatnot make sure you hit that subscribe button because subscribing is free and you get all my video and clicking on the bell icon and selecting all will ensure that you get all my videos on time and you don't miss out also hit the like button if you like this video that helps out a lot. That tells me you like this video and I'll make more such videos for you guys. A quick tutorial and a quick explanation of how this tool will work. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.